What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man and welcome to this video in which we're going to be talking about the God of High School episode 4 marriage slash bonds. Now before we go ahead and get started don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that follow, hit that notification button and don't forget to comment below. So let's talk about it. This episode marriage slash bonds we end up getting to the semifinals which is going to be Jen versus this kickboxer dude and Murray versus um, Dayway. So as the episode starts off, we get this guy with purple hair, which he's supposed to be a part of this martial arts magazine because of his unique sword style. He stands as a really top guy in the uh, martial arts figure, apparently. But um, he pretty much approached Mary and offered his hand of met, um, offering to take her hand in marriage. Now, when we do some flashbacks, it shows that, you know, like she really wants the, uh, her dojo to strive for success because of when her father passed away, her uncle tried to take out the mantle. The dojo pretty much got a weak, you know, representation and she's trying to revive that representation of her dojo so he makes promises into which bring her dojo and it will be known throughout the world now she says yes now jen doesn't feel right about it don't uh, they wait uh, don't either but however they wait is like it's not our business not our, um, any importance for us to intervene even if it's bad we have to stay out of it now Going into this, you already know there is some things in conspiring with him offering, you know, asking for her hand in marriage, in which it goes down to the point to where um, that coat that we seen in the first few episodes, he actually is under them. And for some reason, they want that moonlight Sora style that she used um, under their grab. So the best way to do it is for him to ask for her hand in marriage to get that, um, to get the unique Sora style. Now, going through um, this episode, we got a chance to see that um, Jen and Dayway was able to convince her to stay in the tournament because she was going to drop out because of the marriage, uh, intervene in the uh, marriage, and go ahead and, you know, you see Mary give my man the monkey hand and, and take him out after she received a stab wound. Now, Later that night, we got a chance to see that Dayway, he ended up like losing somebody like very important to him, or probably his whole purpose of even doing this guy to high school tournament. Now, we get to see a different side of Dayway, and I think this is where I'm more tuned into the episode because like, man, like these people who normally comes and try to bully him, he pretty much laid waste to him, you know, at his job. He's like, you know, screw it. I ain't taking this. You know, I just lost somebody. Boom. Beat him up. Now, Jen, he raced to the arena to see Dayway and Marie um, battle. Uh, unfortunately, that battle was so one-sided that it just... <laughs> he beat the brakes off of her. He beat her so bad, he just started hitting that weak point. He is beating the crap out of that girl. I mean, whew, man. Uh, Tina Turner, Ike Turner. Man, gotta relive it. But, however... He ended up telling Jen he's going to see him in the finals after he won the match. And that's where we kind of like conclude with the episode. But however, I do want to take a chance to kind of like express something so far of what I have noticed with got of high school. And pretty much it's getting kind of like an annoyance is how the pacing is. And when, when they pacing is being thrown off for them rushing things, or maybe things is going too slow, two things happen. If it goes too slow you probably is not really getting a good story layout because they probably pay attention to every little detail in which the story is not moving at the greatest pace. And then secondly, if it's moving too fast, what takes hit the most is um, character development. Even though um, Maurice has been getting the most kind of like flashbacks, you kind of like more grounded with her at this point, um, it's still moving way too fast because the main character Jan, we just know too much about. Him. We just know that he's a mar he's a real dedicated martial arts version of Goku. Um, and then you got Dunway, who's usually like level headed. And now we starting to get a little bit of feel for him. Maybe um, they trying to spread it up to sections to where they want to focus on um, 
uh, Myra, then it's gonna focus on Day uh, Dayway, and then it's gonna focus on Jim for like the last part. Maybe they trying to go that route. But however, even when they're trying to go that route, they can definitely still kind of like pace this out a lot better than what they're doing. Uh, to me, I think they're gonna lose a, like a lot of viewerships if they don't do this right. It's like they pushing this and trying to um put everything into 12 episodes honestly if this is a crutcher original you should have definitely put it in for 24 um if it's only pushing 12 and y'all pacing like this then honestly 24 should have been that mark for you or at least season one part one and then we get season one part two maybe at the end of the year something like that but this pacing is really getting like like hit like the annoyance part very well because I feel like there's so much that we miss and so many opportunities to really like proceed the animated growth because uh, we only got three more episodes like no not even three we only got like two more episodes before we hit midway and it's like man like I didn't felt like we didn't miss so much like we had a whole tournament bracket and literally we only seen maybe maybe 25% of the fights and that's not even like counting like the 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 setups or the build-ups or you know i mean it can't just be like these guys just like just demolishing everybody and you not seeing any kind of developing skill or anything like that it's just like oh we went it up until the finals that is pretty much it so yeah calm down Quit, uh, quit the quick pacing or you're going to lose it. I'm telling you, this is what's going to stop it. I feel like the guy of high school is like the anime that people been wanting for webtoons. Like this and Tower of God is the two most wanted. And Tower of God did um, pretty decent. It had a pacing issue. But this pacing issue for this one is holy crap. It's, it's really noticeable. It's like really, really noticeable and it's not good not good but overall let me just say graphic wise graphic wise i think god of high school is definitely doing the well the upbeat for it the music it definitely hits the style love it again pacer wise does affect certain things and that's where it takes the most drawback for it so but this episode was kind of like more of like uh, a development for myra not really no other characters like that so honestly it's okay not the greatest but um please I hope next episode they can calm down and kind of like really focus on uh, on Dayway and Jen the way they're supposed to. I don't expect that this little issue that they have where John Way is in this like little slums and then Jen is able to turn it around like within like five or seven minutes in the anime and then they go on to something else. If that happens, man, next episode is going to be terrible, but hopefully they don't do that. <laughs> but other than that, thank you guys for definitely tuning in. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, um, hit the follow, and um, hit that notification button too. Um, I definitely appreciate it. That would definitely help me out. Um, and other than that, you guys have a wonderful one. Goodbye.